Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper, the Thievius Darkness. In the last episode, we had gone to the rooftops of Mugshot's base and also unlocked this area. In this episode, we're going to go to this level. Don't look at it through your binocu palm. Binocu palm? Binocu palm? Mm. Two to tango. Let's see how this level goes. This is a normal level. Oh, that's good. Your sensors tell you a lot of things, Bentley. Like I'll never get a girlfriend. Well, well, well. Look who just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. This is gonna make a point here. What the hell kind of cop um, goes through the entire world? Not specifically one city, state, country. Because Carmelita kind of like goes over the world. <laughs> I don't know how small kids are supposed to suspect the world to be, but... Come on. She shot the, the mattress. I love there's just random mattresses everywhere. I don't get it. I think it might be a redneck joke. If it is, it's a really good redneck joke. Oh. These were the early years of Sly Cooper, back when it made sense. Uh, she's Sly Cooper as the one that went downhill. Jack and Daxter was definitely the one with like I don't care what anyone says. I know Ratchet and Clank did indeed go downhill, but it just took like a like I feel because of the way it was perfectly fine until all for one. Then it just took a one game downturn to the what the most annoying thing in the world. I don't really have any feelings for that. I mean I feel like it's just a one time they did something wrong for a reason. Like Jack and Daxter took an entire turnaround and it's just not the same anymore. I probably missed something, didn't I? Um, no, I didn't miss one, I don't think. If I don't mess this up, I can probably do it, too. No. Don't tell me I did this. Don't tell me this is happening. No. I cannot accept this. I really can't. Come on. <sighs> and we're moving on. God damn it. That was fast. I didn't fast motion, but uh like I said, I'm gonna be doing things really fast in this game just for uh time's sake. Make this a quicker LP than my old one. Cause this game as long as you know your movements right, you can get this game done real fast. This game is very quick. <laughs> I'll go back to that one bottle I missed now. How did I miss one bottle? I'm just gonna be curious about that. I have the right to question that. How did I miss one bottle? It was probably in like an obvious place. Because I, I, I never missed. I always get the really hard ones, and I forget where the obvious ones are. 
That's how I play games, I guess. I focus too hard on the hard shit, and I miss the easy shit. I don't know. I try to do all the hard shit first, and then forget all, all about the easy shit. I should probably just do things the easy way, and just get the, hard, the easy shit done first. Get the easy ones out of the way, save the worst for last. Okay. Feel safe making these jumps. Where is it? Oh, there it is, of course. What do we get? Oh, another piece of paper. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Hmm, <laughs> that's good. That's actually one of the best ones in the game. So you can do this when you hear the game pause. So you got like a really good shot of action. Please count, please count, please count, please count. Okay, good. We do that from now on then. Like I said, it doesn't hurt you. I can fall in the water as many times as I want. I'm probably gonna get real lazy real soon here at this game. Wrong way. I ought to play this game in fast motion. I should probably stop doing this. This is not how you do a let's play. Do not put everything in fast motion. Maybe like redoing a level, but not like that. Oh. Thingies. Oh, this one is the hardest bottles in the game. I'm just gonna admit that. I'm just gonna admit that. This is the hardest bottles in the game. Um. Let's see this in fast motion because this takes a while. Also, people who have not been watching the whole thing, this is not an effect. This is a uh, move you get in the game. So don't think I'm just like being really lazy with this L. This LP. This L. This is getting really lazy with this L. Okay, let's just right. Um I don't know why I enjoy breaking these. No, 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 go back down. There we are. There's sort of some things in here. It doesn't hurt to break through things, but come on. There's more in this area than this. You buttholes. Oh sucker punch. They really are a sucker punch. They always play pranks like that on people. Okay, one of the moments when the fast motion really is the most useful thing in the game. You can speed up these searchlights. Let's do this, and then upside down thingy. Okay then.
Yeah, there we are. Oh yeah, I'm a pro with this shit. Okay. I fell. Um, let me just commit suicide here. Yeah, backs clean. How to waste some lucky charms? Commit suicide. <laughs> okay, I don't suggest doing that because you can also just save the lucky charms, but. I don't really feel like we're doing this level. Because I missed some one chance things. Oh, so that's some really cool graffiti back there in the background. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I still time I'm playing this game. Okay, let's do this right. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Why does this guy make me think of George Lopez for? I don't know why. I said that in the first episode, right? Okay, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Screw climbing this thing. Okay, what you got? Ah, uh, whatever, X will work. Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Okay, really useful one. Uh, um, I never use it. But just so you guys can see what it does, it's kind of like the uh, one thing Ratchet gets in Ratchet Clank, that one weapon. What's that one called? Um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? I, I tried to do an LP of it recently. Um, I can't believe I came out of the same The decoy glove. The decoy glove. <laughs> I might LP Ratchet and Clank again sometime, but I don't know. Maybe I'm better prepared for it. Got seven, right? Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh, it's just a spider. Nothing to worry about. I thought it was like a dog found like a bug or something, and I thought she, like she found like uh, like Cthulhu's little twin or something. No, actually, I thought it could have been something like bad, but I was looking at this little spider. I'm like, oh, you're not bad. You're just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Okay, last call. This is actually my favorite level right here. Like my favorite boss fight, even though it's really hard. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Uh, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Zingus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! I was like mugshots of the nicest to boss fights. So how does this boss fight work? Don't get shot. That's the first rule of the boss fight. Rule one, don't get killed. That's a good tip for a game. Here's a good tip for the game, don't get killed. Don't know if that'll come in handy though. Might be able to, uh, might not do you very good trying not to get killed. I mean, you might just get like a game over trying to do that. But you know, you know how it's hard.
Come on, you got this, Sly. Yeah! Game over! I really suck at this fight. I really legitly do. Why am I so bad at this? Get him stuck behind something, that's why you do it. Upstairs. He's got a spare upstairs. We can do this, guys. I'm doing the wrong accent. I'm supposed to be using. I'm supposed to be using one of these accents, except without the old lady smoking voice. But no, I can't. He's gonna kick your ease. He's gonna kick your ease. Run away, Sly. He's gonna kick your ease. What the hell does he even have these things for? He's gonna. God damn it! Mugshot! Oh, I had a lucky charm the whole time. Yeah, they get really generous if you die too much. And give you an extra lucky charm. Plays this cutscene over again. Good thing I got a spay upstairs. I think I'm gonna kick his ass. Uh, <laughs> he breaks his guns again. Goes up. This is the easy part right now. I think the hardest, what's supposed to be the hardest part, is the easiest one. It's all just timing now, not just dodging. Hit it. Run like a bitch. Go to the next one. Hit it. Run like a bitch. You can actually shoot you when you're in these ones. Come shoot. Done. Here it goes. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't wanna be you. The mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. And there you have it. That was world two of the game. There's only five worlds in this game, by the way. I'm not gonna spoil. I don't really spoil anything. Let's see, right there's the last one. Right there's the right. It's not this one. This is the, the second to last one. Not to the right. Of, that's the last one. This LP is gonna be over very fast. I have a feeling of that. And I'm ex not excited to end it, but I'm excited to um, get into the next LP. I haven't planned anything, but I'm excited to start digging into it and figuring out what I start LPing. And I'm gonna need some time to figure that out, like always. So I'm going to call it quits here and say I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper. In the next episode, we will begin... Well, I mean, I said what it is, I was going to say it takes place in Haiti. It's in South America, isn't it? Yeah, it's in South America. I'm not sure. I don't know anything.